صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ان شاء الله we are continuing the topic uh, the islamic veil parde ke bare mein sawal jawab question answers about the hair today so when an islamic sisters comb their hair what should they do with the fallen hairs okay the answer to this hide or bury them so if you've got a garden this is a very easy for anyone who has soft land or a large garden in in their house shadul sharia badu tariqa alama maulana mufti muhammad amjad ali azmi said if a body part that is prohibited to look at separates from someone's body then it shall still be prohibited to look at it after removing the pubic hair some people leave it lying around in the bathroom or in the toilet this should be avoided rather these hairs should be placed somewhere out of sight or buried in the ground women must also hide fallen hairs while combing or washing so that they are not seen by non mahram men these days probably due to eating unhealthy things and using various chemical soaps shampoos etc hair falling has come a common complaint those islamic sisters who live in the house where their non mahram male relatives also live or those who have regular visitors in their homes should take extra care before they dispose of hairs in their bathrooms also be careful to remove the hairs that are stuck to soap bars after bathing Islamic brothers should also remove any hairs that are stuck on soap bars after bathing. Another question is asked here: Can a woman shave their heads? So, question: Can a woman shave their heads? Answer: This is haram. Another question that mentions: Can a woman have a masculine hairstyle like males shorten their hairs? Trimming is a different question, but here the answer is: It is this is impermissible and a sin. there's a parable here that she mentions probably in the last friday of sha'ban al-mu'azzam 1414 ah i met a young man at night in a large sunnah inspiring ijtema in babul madina karachi he swore that this story was true a young daughter of one of him, of my relatives suddenly died when we returned after burying her her father recalled that he accidentally left a handbag containing important documents inside her grave so the grave was necessarily dug open as soon as the grave was uncovered he we screamed in fear the young girl that we buried just a few moments ago in a clean shroud had torn her shroud and sat up she was bent like a bow her legs were tied with her hair and many small strange creatures were stuck to her body This terrifying sight made us speechless. We threw the soil back over her body, over her grave, however possible, and ran away without retrieving the bag. When I got home, I asked my relatives about what sin she had committed. They told me that she did she did nothing which was considered outrageous these days. However, just like other girls, she was fashionable. and did not observe veil just a few days before her death she attended a wedding just like other women unveiled revealing her beauty with fancy haircut and fashionable clothes there's a couplet that mentions here all my sisters always remain veiled do not wander in the streets and all eyes or else listen when you enter your grave you will scream when you see snakes and scorpions sallu ala al habib صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ناري اسلام برادرز توداي از ا سلسله مدني مذاكره ان شاء الله تراي تو اتند مدني مذاكره ويتش از اباوت 6 بي ام ذس ايفنينج الحمد لله لايف ا مدني تشانل سكاي 746 تراي تو انكوريج اذر اسلام برادرز از ويل تو اتند